this episode, I think I'm going to create a series called Things I Really Don't Want to Have to Ship. <laughs> I found this jewelry box. This thing is so well made. I don't know what kind of wood this is. Beautiful. This might be, I don't know, mahogany? Mary. I think the name Mary is common enough that I might actually pick this up. $15. Super heavy. Super well made. I really don't want to have to ship it. But look how beautiful this is. This thing is gorgeous. This is a serious company. Look at that wood. Yeah, we're getting it. Really don't want to have to ship it. It's not especially hard to ship, but it does need to be well padded. We're going to go ahead and take that. I did find a very unusual Santa doll, and the face is very unique. When you see a face like that, I think this might be handmade. I think this might be goat's hair. Anytime you find goat's hair on dolls or in, you know, different creations, I'm going to call it, different animals, you want to take a second look at it. I think this face is handmade. Little spectacles. Like a nature Santa. Not sure who's making that. Pat Miller, 1991. Did Pat make this? I'm going to have to look that up. $6.99. Little fur hat. All right. But what I started talking about was things that I don't want to ship. Today, the store is loaded with things like this big giant swan planter. I don't want to have to ship this. This is so heavy. $4.99 cobwebs included I could sell it locally but I think it's only gonna bring like 25 so I am gonna leave that behind lots of big items in the store today look at this thing okay this is either a baby swing that somebody made or a hanging planter what do we think the rope is pretty substantial yeah I think it's a planter but it's $2.99, $3.99. And today is yellow. This would be half price. All right, do we want this? I don't even know. All right, I guess I'm gonna put this in my cart. Let me look at the condition of it before we start throwing things all willy-nilly in the cart. Not seeing, okay, it does have a crack right here. I wonder if that is hurting the integrity. I don't think it is. Are there any other cracks? Hmm. Do I want this? Oh. Uh, so on the fence about this one. What do you think, guys? Definitely vintage. All right. Leave a comment down below. Vote if this is a baby swing or if this is a planter. Oh, another crack doesn't really seem like it's gonna hurt it huh all right I'm gonna leave it behind I'm not gonna do that to myself fourth quarter let me just pop that up there for somebody else but I still want you to vote leave a vote everybody vote whether it is a planter that you hang like in a tree or something it's a big giant hair on it or if it is a baby swing you want my jewelry box, don't you? <laughs> Very nice quality. <laughs> well, can you tell me about it, since you're a woodworker? <laughs> Putting you on the spot. Yeah, it's, it's, you can tell it's very nicely done. It even is, the, right? Even the lining, the yeah. felt lining is very nice. Yeah, right? I know velvets are made out of different. There's like cotton velvet and silk velvet. I think it's a cotton velvet, which I think is a more of a sign of a vintage. Yeah, nice inlay. So hopefully we find a Mary. What do you think <laughs> of the price? Do you think it's worth $14.99? I think so. Yeah? What would you ask for that? $45. Oh, I'm thinking more like a hundred. <laughs> okay. Maybe my hopes are way too high. I don't know. Yeah, it is. You could probably get a hundred for it. <laughs> I love the encouragement. Yeah. We keep hearing the back door open and we keep both like looking. What else is in there? Okay, so I grabbed this tray. Look how pretty that is. Ooh, 
Who's making it? Somebody. Babe Ruth? Gloria. Good job, yeah, Gloria. Yeah. Real gold. Real gold. We'll chip that off on if we hit hard times. <laughs> <laughs> Made in Germany? Yeah. That is nice. Yeah. Handwork, Babe Ruth. I'll have to look that up. What else? We got this. I got this. This one's my cart. This votive shade. This thing is so heavy. I do think the plastic beads are like a lucite or acrylic. They're not modern. It's a little bit older. This is really nice. I like this. And the best part, $1.99. Yeah, I don't know what that's that. about. Really? That is heavy. It is, isn't it? Yeah. Didn't have four balls, right? The two balance it. We yeah, should be good. I think it's just two. All right, I think I showed you everything else. Did I show you guys this? Now I'm just gonna double back. Okay, I really like this. And this is Joan Baker. I just recently started recognizing and picking up Joan Baker. Some of her stuff does really well. I think this one will do well. $1.99, liking the pricing Goodwill. And I picked up this piece again on the fence. This is kind of an on the fence day. Hmm, what do we think of this? There's always a little bit of chipping, but as long as it's small around the edges. Kind of looks like Majolica. Now I'm just gonna start to make stuff up. I might get that just because, because I don't know. I feel like something. What do we think? Do you see big chips or yeah, just the small yeah, ones on the edges, couple. right? couple little ones. Yeah. All right. Where's your cart? This is you here. Just got a few things. You got some clothing. Yeah, not much. The other day, Roger found a Robert Graham shirt, which I'm sure I'm not supposed to talk about. And yeah. would you pay for that shirt? Uh, I think $7.99. And what would you sell it for? One fifty. Yeah. That's, that nice. that's my guy. That's nice. Tommy, Tommy Bahama. Bahama. See, guys, we always talk about Tommy Bahama, the real ones. The pattern is going to carry through to the other side, even though this is an opening. It's mainly on the pocket. Yeah. A lot of times in the pocket, this will not line up. That's a fake. Okay. If, this, if the pocket doesn't line up with this, it's a fake Tommy Bahama. Okay. And there's a lot of them out I there. was going to say, do you come across a lot of yeah, Tommy Bahama of, fakes? The pocket has to match. Okay. And what is it? Is this Tommy silk? Bahama. This feels yeah, like silk. silk. The hand nose. Nice find, babe. That's a nice colorway, too. I like the blues and greens. That's, is that women's? <laughs> Sure. Nothing like having a wife who wants to steal all your stuff. It's a small, I'm not sure. Hmm. It kind of looks like a woman's, doesn't it? does. Yeah, that looks like a woman's. That looks like a like a lavender clothesline jacket. <laughs> <laughs> what do you want for that? No, I'm only kidding. I have so much stuff. Oh, I like this one. Wow. What did you call it? Vineyard vines. <laughs> <laughs> Quite yet. Oh, that's very fun. That'll do well. Really nice. Good, so good piece as well. We just got here. The day is long. How many stores are we going to today? Ten. <laughs> okay. <laughs> we already ate peanut butter and jelly for lunch, for our breakfast rather. European glass poo. Okay, this is vintage Kmart. But $3.99, why isn't somebody grabbing this? Does it have breakage? It's from Kmart, but yeah. All right, guys, that's what we have so far. And I think I'm buying all this crazy stuff. I know, you're shocked, aren't you? Oh, and I got this, I didn't show this. I'm very much ready for Christmas. I bought this for myself. I think I'm gonna put that like in the bathroom, next to the soaps, kind of like that, $3.99 was $24. Somebody hand painted it. I could do that. <laughs> I think sometimes you can just tell that something is probably going to have good value. Blue and white is always a good seller for me out of all the colorways. This is two twenty-two fifth, I think. Adelaide blue. $1.99 each. So $8 for the four. 
I almost want to say you don't even have to run comps on this. Now I will run a comp because it's just good business practice, but these are definitely going in the cart. I don't start picking up all blue and white. Like, I don't know that I would pick this up. I don't even know who this is. It's unmarked. But this here, I would definitely put in my cart. So these are going right in. I also found a Starbucks mug while you weren't looking. It's one of the porcelain or the ceramic ones. I kind of like it. What are they getting for this? I've kind of halted on the Starbucks. Some of them, um, the You Are Here, I think that series I still pick up. $3.99, red tag. Seems to be in good condition. I will go ahead and take this because tis the season. You guys know I don't normally look at clear glass and if I do, I just do a quick scan. But maybe my eye is starting to be trained. Look at these, right away these look like something. Sheaves of wheat. Very heavy crystal, beautiful, $1.99. Are you proud of me? So proud of myself. These are Waterford Prosperity Toasting Flutes. I think I got that right. There is the sticker right there. Waterford Crystal, $1.99. It even is nice enough to be labeled on the bottom, Prosperity Toasting Flute. <laughs> Doesn't get much easier than that. And they're just sitting here these should bring, I'm going to guess, 30 to 35 for the pair, and I'm going to be paying $4 for the two. So, proud moment. The first time I recognize clear glass as something worth picking up. All right, so Roger was just playing with toasty notes. I didn't turn the camera on quick enough. You push down the little button, and the note comes flying out. I said how you were just playing with this, and I didn't catch you. Look at the face. Look how it is. You want a little note? <laughs> Doesn't take much, guys. <laughs> and they're even toasted for you. <laughs> Gosh. Are we living the life or what? <laughs> You're not going to get it. A little honeydew list. Uh, it's kind of cool, though. <laughs> I love that you laugh every time. It doesn't, it doesn't get old. It's like it surprises me every time. <laughs> All right, I think we're about to head out. I got this cheap little sign for the laundry area in my house. I don't know. I feel like I need a sign. It's kind of kind of really cheap, but $1.99. I'll put that up there. I did find Nun Bush shoes. There, I said it right. That is very hard for me to say. Slip resistant. Now I am paying up for these. $12.99. I used to pay $7.99 for something like that, but still worth it. Beautiful leather shoes with a hook and loop closure because we can't say Velcro. Um, some Swiffer Sweeper dry pads. I'm not big on the wet ones, but I do like the dry ones for our house for all of the lint that comes into the house. This is a crow sill tissue box made out of wood. Beautiful gold, like a burnished gold with a floral design. I think this will do well. Looking for a price. Am I seeing a price? $3.99. All right, I think that is all we got. And we are probably gonna go on to store number two, but that will be a video for another day. Hit that like and subscribe button. And as always, go out and get what's yours. Hey everyone, welcome into the channel. It's Karen Lavender Clothesline. And as you can tell, we are in my basement. This is where I store all of my eBay inventory. And this is where I pull shipping from. So if you have been with me for a while, you know the setup. I have mostly hard goods in this corner here and a little bit over there. Clothing takes up a big area in my basement because most of my inventory, or I should say more than half, is clothing and shoes lavender clothesline. But today we're going to just pull a big mishmash of all the solds. I do have quite a few, so we'll see how far along I get, what kind of items I'm selling. I will give you the price that they sold for, try to include screenshots, 
Yeah. And just let you know if I've had it for a while or if it is a newer listing. All right, let's get started. I'm in good shape. I have a cup of tea. I have my phone and an extra battery, which might be charged or it might be almost depleted. We shall see. All right. First item up is from the retail arbitrage lot of items that I picked up. I talked about finding these. I went out for something else totally and came home with about $500 worth of inventory. Say, Ladies Large Plaid Plus Sherpa Top, or shirt, I should say, and that is going to be back here. When I pick up retail arbitrage, I keep it all together. I don't put it into separate categories. That way it's easier for me to find. Here are the blue fleece here. I'm just going to pop this top. And I see this large right on top. I'm going to leave it open. I think I've sold two or three of these uh, for this shipping out. So there is the size large. I paid very little for these. And um, yeah, and it's great because they're multiples. So you create one listing, as I explained before, and you just let them sell through. So that's item number one, $23. Let's find item number two. Item number two is a plush bear. He's made out of rabbit fur. I just found him last week, week before, and he sold for $19.99. I did find him in Goodwill. He will be in stuffed animals. So stuffed animals or plush are here and here. I don't see a dark plush, so I guess he's in here. Let's pop this open and take a look. Um, this is him here. So if you guys remember, I picked up a cat and this bear. He is adorable. Made out of rabbit fur, really clean condition. And I think he's vintage. Did I put vintage in the listing? Look how adorable he is. Uh, yes, I did. Vintage rabbit fur bear. So that is item number two. We're going to go right on to item number three. Item number three is a green glass bowl. Costa Boda is the brand from Sweden. $22. Lately, I've been trying to group my colors together a little bit. You can kind of see a little bit of organization going on. This is the bowl right here. This is a candle um, holder. I'm going to call it. And I like Costa Boda. The glass is very thick. And usually, if you get to know Costa Boda, you can spot their items from far away. All right, $22. And again, I found that one in Goodwill. I think as I go through the solds, I have quite a few of them, probably more than 30. I'm going to stick with one type of grouping. I'm going to stick with hard goods so we're not walking all over the basement. And then we'll do clothing. The next step is a vintage hand-painted wood recipe box, $22. And it is a black folk art style, toll painted. And here it is here. Just a little recipe box. I imagine this is handmade. Somebody made this and probably a thrift store again. Okay, let's see what other hard goods we have. A Fenton Ruby Glass Wedding Basket, red with a clear handle, twenty-one twenty-five. it brought. And I see it back here. It's got a little bit of dust on it. I have been um, cleaning the rafters. So what I do is I run kind of like a swifter up in the rafters just to make sure too much dust doesn't collect. But when I do that, naturally, a little bit of the dust falls. So I'm going to have to dust things. So what did I get for that? Twenty-one twenty-five. I think I said. Next up, vintage Chinese Tang Dynasty style porcelain horse. I have had him for a while. He sold for $35. And there he is there. Let me reach in and get him. And I think I got a message from a subscriber saying that she loves my channel. And um, she bought him. <laughs> Just adorable. I really like this statue. Like I said, I've had him for a while. And okay, either an auction house or a thrift store. I lose track, but he did bring $35. So thank you so much to the person who bought him. A vintage left in white cat wall hanging just listed this. Lefton is something that I pick up and I let it sell through for almost always um, a smaller amount. You know, it doesn't bring a real high dollar. And this is it here. But I do like Lefton, very vintage. There's a white kitty with pink ears and nose and blue eyes. 
So $8 for him. I don't know what I paid for him. I'm thinking $2.99. So again, not great profit, but I was glad to rescue him. Pyrex storage glass containers. We're going to grab those. I feel like I just brought these home, washed them, photographed them, and they're going back out. So set of three containers. Let me grab this one back here. These are made in USA, definitely vintage. You can always tell by that avocado green. Remember the colors back in, what is this, the 70s, 60s or 70s? Harvest gold, avocado green. What was the brown called? I know people had stoves in the brown. Maybe it was just called brown. Not quite sure. Uh, the canister sold for $29.99. Oh, the black cat serving tray. This is potpourri press. $18. I keep my platters and trays mostly on the top. This might be right here. Yep. And here he is here. The minute I saw him in the thrift store, I was like, oh yeah, definitely. That's definitely a seller. I think it was a thrift store. All right. Leave a comment down below if you watch the video where I found this and leave the comment flea market or um, thrift store. <laughs> if you remember where I picked this up, look how good this is. I really think this was a thrift store, $18. Next up is a feather lampshade. I definitely picked this one up in a thrift store. This sold for $74.50 and I called it a glamorous feather lampshade, animal velvet print, luxury light shade. You could tell I really liked this item. All right. So this is it back here. Oh, so pretty. You can tell this one is high quality. You can feel it. And I'm not sure if the lining is silk or not. Just beautiful. I remember paying a few dollars for this. The feather trim on this is gorgeous. Very lush and plump. Lots of feathers. So just beautiful. I don't know what type of feathers these are. I'm not going to even try to guess. All right, let's go to the next item. Did I say $74.50 for that one? I'm moving at a clip. I have a Facebook marketplace meetup to do in a little while where I sold a wood shelf, which is right here. I think I'm going to get this now while we're doing this because my meetup is, like I said, in a few hours, I think an hour or two up. You know what? As I'm pulling this stuff, I realized I just pulled this cross off and this cross sold through eBay. That's going to be one of the items that we're pulling. So I might as well pull it. I will scroll down and let you know what that one brought. That brought $29.99. All right, let's go back to the shelf. The shelf brought $50. Again, both of these items found in thrift stores. I have to be careful. I don't make anything crash to the floor. All right, get Mr. Pig out of the way. I don't think you sold yet, Mr. Pig. See if I can lift him up out of here. Once I get the wooden shelf off, I will be able to um, put all of this back in place. Oh. All right, so this is the shelf that the buyer is coming to pick up. I could have shipped this, but I really didn't want to, so there's that. All right, so that brought 50. I think I paid $6.99 for this one. Let me pick up this little basket off the floor. All right, we're in good shape. Now we're going to scroll back and see what I have missed. Okay, so we did the lampshade. Again, just concentrating on the hard goods. Oh, the petite, uh, petite shows, petite shows. I feel like Julia Child when I say that. $48. And that is going to be on my metal shelf. It might even be up top. Oh, now I see it. <laughs> Silly me, hanging right here. Sometimes I do that if they're delicate to make sure that things don't get banged up. So this is the 12 Days of Christmas. I did find this one in Goodwill. I was very happy to find this. And like I said, it brought $48. All right, what are we up to? Two baskets, the handmade gather basket which might actually be this one sitting right here. Let me pull the other baskets out of it. I don't think they sold yet. Put those back. So this one is signed Etta Nisley. 
E-I-T-A. Is that how to say that? Ita? Ita? And it sold for $45. Next up is a longer burger. This is one of the wall hanging. It has the leather handle. I keep most of my baskets in this area. I don't know if this is it here. It might be. Let's see what date is on this one. Longer burger. 2008. Let's see if that's what the listing says. Yep, 2008, and it sold for $29.99. All right, let's get out of the listings and keep going. A necklace sold, but I'm going to do that with clothing and shoes. We're going to stay in this area. Fine Italian wood wallet size for picture frames. Okay, a lot of times the smaller wood pieces I put on this um, shelf here. Mm, am I seeing it? I'm not seeing it on this shelf. So it could be in here or it could be in artwork because sometimes I put the framed stuff together, but I see it right here. I thought this was especially good. Really nice attention to detail, beautiful hinges, and it's four picture frames that open up. Let's see if I can do this with one hand. Fine Italian wood, ornament size wallet, ornaments wallet size, I should say, crafted in USA, fine Italian wood, and they are washed with different colors. So we have pink, blue, let me just open it this way so I can get it open. Pink, blue, kind of like an ivory color and a green. That is lovely. And what did that bring? That brought $24. Okay, the three white bottle brush Christmas trees sold for $12. Let me go over here. That's going to be in Christmas. Now, I know I said I was staying in the hard goods section, but here is Christmas here. We have this here. This is primarily ornaments, and this is Christmas. I'm just going to slide this out. Nope, I don't see trees in that. Most likely it's going to be in this one. I'm going to pop this one down. Yep, I see the trees in there. Okay, used my hip. I use my hip to leverage a lot. Okay, let's pop this off. These are beautiful. Let me grab the three of them. Wood bases, really nice. No branding on them. They have like a sparkle to them. And we're just going to pop them right in this basket. So when I carry things upstairs, it'll be a little bit easier. And like I said, those sold for $12. All right, next up, this sold very quickly. The Vintage Cigar Ashtray. Uh, it's a natural stone, onyx and marble. It sold for $99.99. So that is down here. Let me just move this wind chime. That's the frog wind chime that I picked up from the bins stay and here is the i think this is primarily onyx i'm going to guess but it does have some marble in it you can see the veining really beautiful all right round two i brought everything upstairs and i realized that two more of these jacket shirts or shirt jackets have sold so i went ahead and grabbed those you already saw that i got them from the blue bin and what did they sell for they both sold for 23 dollars each so 46 and the other 23 dollars 56 66 67, 69 dollars for the three and i paid a few dollars so that was a great pickup all right, next up, we're going to do another piece of clothing, J. Jill Knit Top. It's a blue long sleeve top. I only charged $10. I think I got this in the $2 sale, I'm going to say. I did like this top because it's banded at the bottom. It kind of has like a ruched or a cinched waist. I thought this was nice. Great layering top for winter fall, spring, any of those, size small. And like I said, I got $10 for it. Next up, Anthropology, size six. It's a gray ruched strapless cocktail wedding dress. All of that, $22.49. Size six is going to be in here in smalls, and it's a solid, so I'm going to pull that bin down. Roger is really growing his inventory quick here, so we have been talking about how to store a much 
bigger supply and just coming up with all kinds of ideas. For those of you asking if we are getting a booth, we are still trying to get a space in a vendor mall, but there aren't too many vendor malls near us. We did go visit one or two and one um, in Strasbourg, which is about 40 minutes for us, is a beautiful mall. It's an antiques mall, but it's too high end. We don't want to get caught with a space where we're kind of limited to what we can put in. We pick up all craziness. So we want to be able to put games and furniture. So we are still on the hunt. But yes, we are still trying to do um, an antique or a vendor mall booth. Uh, but closer to the house. All right, so that's the story here. I'm going to go ahead and pull this bin and we're going to get the anthropology dress. All right, let's pop this one open. Ann Taylor Loft, Kenneth Cole. Oh, is it this one? Ann Taylor Loft. Oh, this looks like it here. Yes. Hitherto. Is that the name of that brand? Anthropology, size six. Beautiful gray, very pleated dress. Very filmy and romantic. I love a dress like that. All right, let me grab my phone. For those of you still asking what my phone is held by, this is kind of like a crossbody. It is called Bandolier. This is my third one. I wear these out, and they are leather. This is great because the back has a credit card holder in case you are just running and just want to bring a credit card with you and really nicely made. I am not endorsed by Bandelier and these cases go for about a hundred dollars but when you're doing what I'm doing and you're on the run so much protecting my phone is paramount. So that is for those of you asking and I think I have it linked in my Amazon favorites in this video's notes. In all the video's notes you can go in and look at my favorites those are items that I have personally owned on Amazon, and I get a small kickback for recommending them. So you can go over and just take a look at what my favorite things are if you want. Okay, the next item up is part of a multiple order. This is a blue and white beach cover-up dress. That's how I described it. $9.99. It's going to be in small dresses prints. I do put some of the cover-up dresses in um, my swimwear, but this one could kind of go either way. Oh, here it is right here. Love rich, small. And first I had it labeled as a top. It could be either, but it could also be worn as a cover-up dress. So there is that. The other part of this order is New York & Company. It's a maxi skirt and it's a size medium. I'm just going to leave all the bins open till the end. Skirts are still at the end. Probably another month and I will switch all of this around. I love being able to switch everything around. Makes me very happy. Keeps things moving and organized. I love that my business doesn't get stagnant. I can make many changes. And one of the changes that I love to make is having everything on wheels. I can move everything around. So these are the jeans. They are going to be going away. I might pull this rack out of here. I'm going to judge that because this back corner is a little bit hard to get to. But for here, we are looking for this skirt. And like I said, medium maxi skirt, gray stretch. So it's going to be in medium solids, probably in darks. And if it's not in there, uh, what is this one? Small prints. Nope, it's going to be in here. Okay, so here is this skirt. Uh, size medium, all packaged up, ready to go. And that goes with that order. When my buyer is a multiple item purchaser, I'm always happy to combine the shipping and give them a refund if there is a refund and um, just to make their shipping a little bit easier. But I always do it after the purchase is made to create invoices ahead of time with people adding or subtracting things from their orders and then readjusting the shipping gets to be way too much. So I always ask the buyer, go ahead and pay and I will be happy to refund, you know, any overage that they paid. All right. Next up is a woman's jumpsuit. I got this at the flea market and this one brought $50. We knew this one would do well. I believe I paid five for this five or seven. I think I did um, bundled it with something Roger was buying. If my memory serves me correctly, <laughs> look how great this is made in USA. Size 9, 10. So good. And uh, like I said, $50 it brought. 
Next item up is a brand that I love to sell, Faraday. This is a men's flannel shirt. I'm looking for it. Here it is here. I'm going to bring this in the light. I believe I showed finding this. I think I did this as a haul right in the thrift store. If my memory serves me correct, there is the branding. This brought $44. I love this brand. I think they're a great quality. <laughs> Their tag even says, a guarantee of quality, extra large men's. It's kind of like a knit flannel, super, super soft. So I'm um, really happy with that sale. Don't remember what I paid. Okay. Keep going, keep going. Up oh, Billabong men's swim trunks sold $12. I did move some of these around, so let me see if I can remember. Okay, so men's swimwear trunks and shorts is right here. I'm actually going to slide this one over to bring this down. Okay, and I think this is them right here. Yep, Billabong. Very easy to spot, very retro and cool. And Billabong 34 swim trunks. Look at that, I even put a thank you sticker on it. <laughs> I have my axe sewed together. Just kidding, <laughs> some days it's all bedlam. And 34, yep, that's the correct size. All right, what else are we up to? We got that, we got that. Sears Vintage Men, another flannel shirt. It is the season of flannel, $12.50. This is a buffalo plaid in red and black. So it's going to be in my bin marked flannels or plaids, something like that. I forget what I called it. Um, plaids, flannels, button shirts. Oh, that's a heavy one. I'm going to have to put the camera down. All right, let's pop this lid off. Uh, this one's L.L. Bean, Duluth, L.L. Bean. Oh, what's this one? G.H. Bass, Duluth, Duluth, <laughs> Ralph Lauren. It's got to be in here. Oh, I think I found it. Is this the Sears one? Yes, it is. Sears. All right. Grab the phone. What did I say I got for it? $12.50. Here's an item I've had for a while. Philadelphia Phillies Nike jacket. Woman's Extra Large, $27.94, which is a very odd price. I'm not sure what that's about. Um, here are my jackets, women's jackets down here. Now, these are not coats. They're not, like, real bulky. They're just, like, track jackets and blazer jackets. And you can see I have some folding to do because I do have a lot of jackets. I haven't gotten time to fold them. This is it here. $27.94. Okay, we're going to do one more item and then I am going to scoot and go to the Facebook Marketplace meetup. This is in a local parking lot fairly near my house, maybe like five minutes away. So it works out really great. I do change locations once in a while just to keep things really safe. I have had not one problem. Everybody has been wonderful. I always do my meetups in a very well populated parking lot in the broad daylight. Um, I bring my phone with me. I always have my keys in my pocket. I make sure there are other cars in the parking lot, people coming and going. So it's all good. And I sold the wooden shelf that I already brought upstairs. All right. Last item, Michael Kors sweater. This sweater had a flaw in it. Yeah. And I sold it for $8. Uh, like I said, when I pick up something that has a flaw, here it is right here, um, I try to sell it through at a reduced price so the buyer is happy. I don't sell anything with huge flaws. Like if this sweater had a big hole or whatever, unless it was cashmere and it was a cutter's lot, um, I would not sell it. So I'm not sure. It looks like this might have had like a few little issues, but $8. I still make my money back, um, you know, with fees and everything counted already. I make a dollar or two. And um, I like doing that rather than throwing it out. But if something has a big flaw, I do have to damage it out because I don't want a buyer to be, you know, really disappointed. All right, that is pulling shipping for today. I'm going to do my Facebook Marketplace meetup and um, come home and ship out and then probably pull more orders, but I'll do that off screen. Thanks so much for watching. Go out and get what's yours.